Hey, Shalom Am Israel. Uh, first off, I just want to say, Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kakadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And want to just say peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the brothers that's co laboring in this truth, uh, in sincerity and faith. And for the few sisters that believe, uh, Shalom Am to you as well. Um, I was actually on this app, the Bible app or whatever, and it, it posts up. Uh, a Bible verse of the day So I was like man it, it was beautiful So I decided just to speak on it briefly It's an account in St. Mark Chapter 9 verse 23 In the account It was a man who had a son with a dumb spirit That Yahweh Shai, uh Cast off Or rebuked But I'm going to just hit the, the point And just go into how Having belief That all things are possible is is the requirement for the the men of the of the hopeful elect to endure in this thing, man? Uh, when all of different types of afflictions and temptations and just basically trials of faith are presented before us, man, you know our belief is what's gonna get us through, you know, all of this adversity. So, without further ado, I'm gonna just go to the scripture here in Mark uh, nine and twenty three. It says, Yahweh Shai said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible. To him that believeth. And I might uh, label the title, you know, something among those lines. All things are possible to him that believeth. Because that's the key. That's the key. Faith is the key. You know, faith is the foundation where everything lays as far as uh, this this walk of faith. Henceforth, in this truth. You know, you got to have belief. You know, it all goes hand in hand. And then, out of your belief and your faith... That's going to compel your spirit to actually be obedient through your works, you know, taking action. So I'm just going to expound on how belief, you know, that things are possible, no matter how tough it could seem at that time. That's where your, your mind is going to have to be built up in in these latter times. That's why the scriptures say wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. But, you know, the, the foundation within all of that is just having belief and faith. That whatever's presented before us, uh, the Lord's going to get us through at the end of the day, you know. And I'm going to just go ahead and hit another verse. This is in uh, so like in my voice. I can, you know, this is a breakfast lesson. You know, I just got up and through the spirit, I was like, man, I'm just going to go ahead and record it, you know. Strike water, the iron's hot. Uh, this is Philippians chapter 4. And uh, man, this, this whole thing is good, but uh, I'm gonna find a good place to start. I'll just start at uh, 4 and 11. This is a, uh, Philippians 4 and 11. It says, Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound everywhere and in all things. I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. So that's the type of spirit that we're going to have to have uh, to persevere in this faith as well, man. Just being balanced men, knowing how to deal with adversity, knowing how to deal when things are going uh, so called cool. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna know how to you're gonna have to deal and you're gonna have to have a certain level of faith uh in whatever situation that the most high brings before you. And here's the point in 13. It says, I can do all things through Hamashiach, which strengthened me. So people may quote this and read this, but you gotta ask yourself, like the scripture says in uh 2 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, examine yourself whether you be in the faith. So I can do all things through Hamashiach which strengthen me, but you got to ask yourself, do you truly believe that? And furthermore, are you walking with that belief and, and how you conducting yourself, you know, uh, amongst the body, you know, and just within your daily life, man, like you feel that the the, the Lord is, is truly providing you strength through times where it doesn't seem that you have any strength at all, you know? And that's just all going back uh, to that belief, that ultimate faith, you know what I'm saying? The fact that uh, Abraham, our forefather Abraham, 
uh, had belief that was accounted to him for righteousness. You know, it wasn't because any works he had did. It was just the fact that he believed and he became a, a, a friend of the Most High. You know. Uh, I'm going to hit another scripture here real quick. Get Romans. A right, matter of fact, I'm going to get this real quick before I hit Romans. I'm going to get uh, Hebrews real quick. And then the um, the elder in our camp, Yashawamba, he he had a, 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 a an excellent point in, in one of his lessons. Or it may have been something that he put on the, the, the chat that we communicate on. But he says that, you know, our faith is going to be increased by through obedience. So that's ultimately um, a part of this thing as well, man. Being obedient to the instruction of the Most High. That's how you show your faith. That's how you show your belief. And your belief and faith, it gains strength through uh, just being obedient, even through uh, difficult uh, situations, maybe things that you may not understand through the spirit, just uh, walking in complete belief that it's all going to work out for the greater good at the end of the day either way. I might have passed it up. So like you. This is uh, Hebrews 11 and 6. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the most high, Yahweh, must believe, must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So it's impossible to please the most high without faith. And if you come to serve the most high, you have to believe. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures also says, um, prepare thy soul for temptation before thou come, comest to serve the most high. So that's all part of having that belief that in whatever situation, adversity, you know, where your hands just feel like they're at their weakest points that somehow the most high he's going to fight for you. You know what I'm saying? He through Yahweh Shah, the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, we're going to get a victory if we diligently seek him. You know, our labor is not going to go unrewarded. You know what I'm saying? You got to believe that, you know, your day to day actions and just every movement uh, as how you moving in this faith man it has to do uh, be done through your, your belief and your faith you know in the power of the lord not in the power of yourself or, or in what you can do you know what i'm saying i'm gonna get this scripture here just bear with me brothers This is uh, Romans chapter 8, and I'm going to start at, find a good place to start here on this as well, <clears throat> Salaki. I'm going to go right to the point. Yep, I'm going to just go right to the verse. The whole Romans, the 8th chapter, of course, is, is beautiful, but I'm going to just go to the point to make the point in the lesson. This is Romans 8 and 31. It says, uh, what shall we then say to these things? You know, so what shall we say to these things? And these things can include all types of persecution, hell, adversity, and things that are going to be brought before you for, for professing the testimony and the gospel of our Lord, Yahweh Shah. You know, what shall we say to these things? Okay. It says, if the Most High Yahweh be for us who can be against us man so you also have to believe that man that if the lord is our uh supreme ally that's riding with us man and we riding with him we proclaim to ride in him who the hell can be against us man and you know and it don't matter you know what situation uh you may uh end up in or how uh how difficult the odds may be you know you always have to put that in the back of your mind you know what I'm saying? And that's going to really propel your faith and belief. You know what I'm saying? Just knowing that we have a supreme ally in the heavens, you know what I'm saying, who's going to go to bat for us through all of these different temptations within our trial of faith so that we can endure until the end to receive that salvation. You know? So hopefully this was edifying, man. Belief. Belief. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the key, you know what I'm saying, to being able to do all things through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Everything 
is 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 done based on your your your, your belief and henceforth your faith. So brothers, you know, just walk in faith, you know, walk in the spirit, you know. Uh, so with all being said, um, I just want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakakadash. I want to get double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, peace and blessings to the uh, sincere, hopeful elect.